Have you been wanting to create your own e-commerce app but don't have any coding knowledge? Let me show you how simple it is to use Jotform apps to create your own app with no coding knowledge necessary. Hey everyone, welcome to Jotform, I'm Kimberly. And the first thing I wanna do is if you have a form that you would like to include in your app, all you need to do is navigate to that form. Then on the right hand side, we're gonna click on more. Then on the left under publish, we're gonna choose create an app. Now, if you have multiple forms that you would like to include, you can also click multiples and then create a new app up at the top. But let's say we either wanna start from scratch or we kinda of wanna get our creative juices flowing and see how other people have utilized Jotform apps for their e-commerce site. We're gonna go up to the very top where it says my forms and we're gonna choose my apps. Next up, top left again, the purple create app button. And then we have two options. Again, we can start from scratch if we kind of know what we want this to look like. Or again, creative juices, let's check out the use template option because there's over 200 to choose from. Now there's three ways that we can do this. We can either take a scroll and see if something visually pops out to us. We can utilize the search option at the top to type in specific, maybe our e-commerce niche. Or over on the left under categories, we can take a scroll and see if something jumps out as fitting for us. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and use that second option and I'm going to search for e-commerce. And it looks like we have one template that is slated specifically for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And then up in the top right, we're gonna click on use template. All right, so before we really dive in, let's take a scroll and see how this app is currently set up. So I can see we have an icon, a heading, we have a little subheading going on. And then we have this first page, looks like we have two buttons, one is shop now, one is buy products on sale. And if I click on it, I can see exactly what it is. So this, it's not a button, it's actually a form and this one, is also a form. Then it looks like we have an image of the clothing saying that it's on sale. Then it looks like we have an image carousel or an image slider. We have social follow. Then we have a paragraph text with some information, shipping returns, conditions. And then we can see we have this line and it says, add a new page. So what's really awesome about these apps is that you can have different pages within the apps. If you look down in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see we were just on the home page. Next, we have feedback and then we have cancel order. So if we keep scrolling down, we can see right here, it says we value your feedback. And then we have a testimonial. It looks like we have some paragraph text with the five stars. We have give feedback, which looks like is a form. Then we have paragraph text again new page, then you know what, do you need to cancel your order? And this one is also a form. Now let's go back up to the top and let's kind of walk through how to create this app. So if you're familiar with Jotform, on the left hand side, we have add element. These are all going to feel very familiar. So if you came in the way that we did and we did not choose a form, we can choose the form element here. We'll find the form we want to connect, choose it, then click add form. But going back, we have that heading, we have the paragraph, we have a link, we can upload a PDF document if we wanted to, an image, what we saw right here, then we have a general button. We have different things for images. We have an image gallery, we saw the slider, you can add a video, you can add a map if you have a physical location. We have the social follow and the testimonial that we both saw. If you have any type of data elements that you'd like to add in, you can do that as well. And then we have page elements. Now up at the top, we have widgets, so if you utilize WhatsApp for your business or maybe you are on Instagram or Facebook, you can add in things like that, but there are a ton of other dynamic widgets that you can choose from. So let's go back to basic and let's kind of play with this a little bit. Let's play with the button option because I think that is one of the most dynamic basic elements. So if I just click on it, it's going to add it to the last place where we had clicked on. So let's see where that was way down here at the bottom. So you can see over on the left-hand side, we have the six dots. If we want to move this button anywhere, we can definitely do that. And then on the right-hand side, we have the settings. And this is where we can change the name of the button. And this is where that dynamic piece for the button comes in. A button can take them to a URL. It can take them to email you, to call you, to go to a different page. Like maybe you want them to go to feedback or back to the home page, or it can open a form. 
So let's go ahead and delete this one and let me show you another way that you can add in a button. And my favorite way, and this is for any element, you can click and we can drag in and we can put it exactly where we want it to be. So let's say I want this button right here. Perfect. Now let's say I really want to make this fit my brand. I wanna change the colors, I wanna change the background. Up in the top right, we have the app designer. It looks like a little paint roller. We can choose overall color schemes. We can choose specific solid colors for the background if we want to, or we can remove this background image and upload our own. We can also change the font family. Now up at the top under app layouts, if you have multiple things that you want to change at once, so let's say we have multiple buttons and some are on the left, some are on the right. If we want them all to be in the center, all we have to do is come to app layouts and then choose center aligned. If I choose use layout, it's gonna put everything in the center. It is such a time saver. So let's go up to settings and let's see what the settings have to offer. So when we land on the settings, we can see that the form is enabled, but if we want to disable it at some point or maybe on a specific date, we can do that here. Automatically continue forms later is going to be turned on for you as well as add to home screen mode now, which we'll see whenever we go to the desktop version. Anytime someone opens the app, if you have this turned on, it's gonna ask them, hey, do you wanna add this app to your home screen? Which I think is really neat. And then we also have a progress bar if you'd like. Back on the left, the app name and icon. If we wanna change the name of this app, make it the name of our business, we can do that here. We can also change the icon. We can see this is what it's gonna look like on their home screen. So if we choose edit icon, we can see that right now this is an image. So if you have maybe an image of your brand or something that is recognizable to your customers, you can remove this image, add your own. If you don't, don't worry, we have a ton of icons to choose from. Back on the left, the splash screen, if we wanna change this color or the color of the font, we can do that here. But let's go up to publish and let's see how to get this app into people's hands. So the first way is to copy the link. We can send it one-on-one, -on -one, maybe in our emails. If we have someone specific that we want to send it to, we can send it to them via email, or you can download a QR code. So if you are in person, you'd like your users to use your app, they can scan your code right there. But let's take a look at what this looks like on the desktop by choosing open in a new tab. All right, so here's our app and you can see that home screen. It says, hey, do you wanna add my app to your home screen? It is such an awesome touch. But we can see our app. And we can see that it stops. It doesn't continue on to that feedback section. But here on the desktop up in the top right, we can choose feedback, the second button. If you're on mobile, it'll be in the top left. So we can see we have those testimonials, we have the give feedback option. And then again, up in the top right, cancel order. So each section has its own page. So you can see how simple this is to create without having any coding knowledge whatsoever. So if you have any questions, please let us know and I'll see you next time.